So it's the weekend, which means that Dua is running a sale as they do every weekend, and I think starting Fridays as well, Friday in the afternoon or evening. Well, here we have two brand new original creations in this double feature. I requested for these two to be sent to me. Cloud of Musk and Creamy Rice Pudding, one on the more versatile, easygoing, casual, everyday side of things, and one gourmand. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on these two brand new releases, so make sure to stay tuned. begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on these two brand new releases from the Dua brand. I let you know what I think in terms of the smell, the notes, the performance, longevity, all that good stuff. I do want to start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up if you learned something today or if you took anything of value from today's episode would really mean a lot to me. So I have so many Dua original creations in my collection. I've reviewed a number of their original fragrances and I love just the diversity. Some are sweet, some are fruity, some are gourmand, some are dark, some are really indie and artisanal with high quality ingredients. And then of course we have a lot of really under the radar notes that are utilized in some of these original creations. Oud ingredients have been macerated for 20, 30 years or whatever. Here, we're seeming to err on the simple side of things. Very simple note breakdown for the first one, Cloud of Musk. You can't expect musk, dry amber, maybe a little bit of sandalwood, lemon, lime, a little bit of citrus in the opening. And then, of course, we have creamy rice pudding. This one has raisins. You have um, sugar. You have milk, lactonic ingredients. So we have a freshie and a gourmand. I'm looking forward to giving you my thoughts on both of these. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the presentation. So the first one that we'll start off with is Cloud of Musk. So I was looking at the note breakdown and of course Cloud of Musk, something very billowy, ethereal, something very fresh, versatile. And that's precisely what is happening in here. It opens up even a little aldehydic. And that might be because there is a gin accord in here. So gin, you know, it does kind of have like this bright effervescent juniper berry type of a vibe to it. It opens up really magnetic, very luminous, very bright. There aren't any dark edges about this one. Perhaps in the dry down, they do start to come out. But in the opening, it's very, very bright the musk can be perceived right away. In terms of the amber that's in here, yeah, it doesn't smell sweet, it doesn't smell vanillic, it doesn't smell overly balsamic, there isn't any sort of a richness to it in that sense, but the musk is definitely dense, it's in there, it's fluffy, you have this big cloud around you, and that's why I love the graphic that they put on the front of the bottle here, a little subliminal messaging with the cloud on here, but it is actually very cloudy, bubbly, ethereal, and perhaps even a little aldehydic. It gives off like this fresh linen, cotton sort of a vibe, very clean and definitely tranquil. It puts you in a very calm state of mind. I really enjoy this one. And I have a feeling that this is the type of DNA that my wife would really enjoy as well. It does have some floral tendencies about it as well clean floral tendencies, maybe a little jasmine gardenia. I don't recall seeing it in the note breakdown, but I am getting that sort of a vibe from it. Musky, clean, dry amber with this sort of bright sparkling effervescence. Quite beautiful. Now, if you are a gourmand lover, we have creamy rice pudding. It's been many years since I've had rice pudding and <laughs> it opens up with this burst of sweetness. You have this saccharin overdose in the opening, which I love, right? So you can tell there's a bit of vanilla, there's this sugary component, there's this confectionery vibe about it that is really nice. And then I was getting this sort of fruity vibe from it, read the note breakdown, saw raisins, and I said, aha, that has to be what's giving off that vibe. Now, in terms of the rice that's in here, I've smelled some fragrances that come across smelling rather starchy for lack of a better phrase usually when that happens 
that starchy quality comes from like orris or tuberose. Actually, there's some floral ingredients that give off a bit of like a starchy quality. And I'm not getting that per se from this fragrance. So I can't say there's anything about it that explicitly smells like rice, but it does smell like some sort of creamy, sweet, delicious pudding. And I love that about this fragrance. I actually wore this one today. My barber complimented me. I went to the barber shop, got a fresh haircut today. My bar I sat in the chair, my barber put, you know, the, the cape around me or whatever it's called. He said, oh, you smell good today. So this fragrance is strong. I did four sprays, four or five. I did four or five sprays on this one and I got noticed. This is really strong stuff. The sweetness is overwhelming initially for like 20 minutes or something like that. It does settle down into something a bit warmer. You do have this sugary vanilla with some lactonic touches to it. And I know this is gonna sound weird, but I've actually consumed, this isn't the weird part by the way, uh, this is fairly normal. I do have an Asian supermarket close to where I live and on a number of occasions I buy rambutan, I buy dragon fruit, I buy young coconuts, and I also purchase durian fruits. Now durian is actually banned in hotels in some parts of the world. It's banned on airplanes because it has a very pungent aroma. It has a consistency of custard. It's a really interesting fruit with a scaly exterior, spiky exterior. And I actually enjoy the taste of it. Some people have compared the smell to onions, which I think it's a pretty out there and outlandish comparison, but something about this fragrance, like 10% of it, actually reminded me of a durian fruit. And even as I think of it now, it, it kind of still reminds me of a durian fruit, which is really interesting. And it smells incredibly pleasant, by the way. There are no rough edges for any of these two gourmand, super clean, you know, respectively, but at the same time, it did, I, it allowed me to make that mental co connection from something that I've experienced in the past, the distant past, albeit, but nevertheless, both amazing original creations. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, both of these are very unique. I cannot compare them to anything else that I've tried. Sure, I've tried a lot of musk fragrances. Yes, I've tried a lot of vanilla lactonic fragrances. Quilombo by Fueguia is like one of the most lactonic fragrances out there. It actually smells like pure milk to my nose, but both of these are unique. They do their own thing. Longevity for both of them, 10 plus hours, extract to parfum concentration. Projection was amazing for the first hour and a half of application. Elbows length scent right around hour seven, skin scent right around hour 10 or 11. Versatility for both of them. Um, I would say that creamy rice pudding is a bit more playful and better for the colder weather. I think Cloud of Musk is all year round, a bit more casual, but I think both of them can be worn formally. Both of them are totally unisex. And I think probably creamy rice pudding will appeal to somebody who's a little bit younger on account of the sweetness. Cloud of Musk could potentially appeal to somebody who's a little bit older, somebody who's more experienced dealing with a variety of different genres when it comes to fragrances. The presentation for both of them is very nice. The cap is a snug fit. The engraving on the cap is really nice. I love the sheen and the luster on the label here. It's a bit reflective, almost holographic. My final verdict on these two fragrances are, I think they're both wonderful. Of course, as we start to enter the spring months, Cloud of Musk, I think is going to be an ideal selection for a lot of people. And I can see creamy rice pudding, depending on what part of the world you live in, I can see this one being shelved in about two months or something like that, especially once it starts to get significantly warmer out there. But if you're wearing these two in a climate controlled environment, wear them whenever you want. Thank you so much for joining me today. That was my review of two brand new original fragrances by the Dua brand. If you own or have tried these, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Of course, they're brand new, so chances are you haven't, unless you received the sample of one of these two in a recent order. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.